This is Module 5, Lesson 9 Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to build and write fractions greater than one whole using unit fractions. Number 1. Each shape represents one whole. Fill in the chart. So when I look at the sample, I see that they first wrote a unit fraction for each one whole which is one half because each shape is divided into two equal parts. Next, they counted how many parts were shaded, which was a total of three. Then to write the fraction that is shaded, they have three as the numerator because three parts are shaded. Each of the parts are divided into two, so the fraction is three halves. Letter B. When I look at the first picture, I can see it is divided into equal parts. And those equal parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my unit fraction is 1 sixth. When I count the shaded parts, there are 6 plus 7, 8, 9. 9 total shaded parts. When I write the fraction, 9 is the shaded amount. Each of the holes are divided into sixths, so this is 9 sixths shaded. Letter C. My unit fraction is each portion is divided into 4. So my unit fraction is 1 fourth. When I look, I have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15 parts shaded. So there are 15 parts shaded. Each of the holes is divided into fourths, which is my unit. So my fraction is 15 fourths. These fractions are more than one whole. So we need to keep in mind that the numerator is going to be bigger than the denominator. Letter D. Each of my pictures is divided into two equal parts, which, mean, which means my unit form will be one half. Next, I will count the parts that are shaded. I see two, four, six. Six parts are shaded. So as my numerator, I'm going to put a six. My denominator shows my units. My units are halves, so my fraction shaded is 6 halves. Continue this same process for E and F. First writing the unit form, then counting how many parts are shaded, and finally writing the fraction for what part is shaded. 